Okay, so speaking to first team manager Danny Harrigan ahead of this Sunday's County Cup clash against Harangay Borough. Uh, Danny, first of all, uh, last weekend, obviously a great game and a great result in the end. Uh, what were your overall thoughts? I thought it was a, a tough game. Uh, I thought it was a game that we, we expected it to be tough. I think we have to give full credit to Salt Dean. We knew they were going to be a good side. And I think uh, first 45 minutes, they certainly stopped us playing our normal game. And then uh, uh, we had to find a way of, uh, of combating what, how they were playing, which I was impressed with second half. Uh, and I wasn't overly concerned in the first half as well, if I'm being honest. Uh, I thought it was quite an even game uh, in that first period. So, um, yeah, good, good to get the result and good to get into the, into the next round of the cup. After having one of our perhaps weaker halves of the season, the first half, I think it's the first time we've been behind at the break all season. Uh, it was a real, real good turnaround in the second half and perhaps one of our best halves of the season. Uh, he must have been delighted with, with the response from the players after half time. Yeah, yeah, we was. And I think, uh, I think the first half, I think just due to personnel and a few changes that we had to make in uh, key positions, I think it was just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of nerves for some players and then a little bit of uh, just understanding really. Uh, between between players uh, that we spoke about at half time, and we, I think, yeah, as you say the first half wasn't our best, uh, but yeah, the way we came out in that second half, I think we really did uh, turn the turn the tie around. And uh, as we kept saying from last week and during the game, you know, the side that we beat are a good team, and uh, they played five one five, so we have to give them their full credit as well. Um, but yeah, second half, I thought I thought we dominated from uh, from the first from the first minute of that second half all the way through. Um, they had a few one one or two chances, but when you haven't got a goalkeeper, uh, you know you're going to concede a few chances. And if we had uh, Page or Kinger in the in goal, that's no disrespect to uh, Murphy and Ash, you know. Um, I don't think some of their goals would have gone in. So, uh, yeah, I think it was just about staying calm in that first half and at half time and making sure that uh, we've got the ball down in that second half and applied ourselves. We had a couple of uh, players getting their first goals of the season last Sunday. So, I think we've had eight different scorers so far this season. Uh, that must be something that's really pleased. I think eight different scorers in five games, getting goals from all the midfielders, all the attackers as a sign of a good team. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, Sharon's on a great run of form. I think she's on, on four. So I think she's played four, scored four. I think it was, uh, it was a great moment to, sh to see Shapes get her first goal. Uh, she, she's had a lot of chances. And I think uh, for her confidence, I think it uh, would do her a world of good. Uh, and that was in our thinking as well, starting uh, uh, as the nine, just to try and get a bit of confidence. So, yeah, in training last night, she was flying. So hopefully she can now kickstart. Uh, her season on the goals front. Um, but I think, yeah, we put an emphasis on this season, you know, that we need, uh, we've got a lot of good attacking players. Um, and we spoke about, you know, taking responsibility and now uh, what are they bring to the team. So you're scoring, are you assisting? And um, yeah, in, in those front areas, we're getting goals coming from them areas now. So yeah, we're, we're pleased. And now looking ahead to this Sunday, uh, like I say, against Haring Gobara. Uh, again, it's fifth tier opposition, but after the first half last week, we certainly can't afford to underestimate them. No, and uh, as I said uh, to the girls on the weekend, you know, when you sometimes when you play teams, uh, they they can raise their game, uh, and we don't really read too much into going up into watching uh, other teams because the way they'll play against us will be completely different. Um, but I think this weekend's game, uh, County Cup's a cup that, you know, the, the club really want to do well in and have, have won it in the past. So there's a tradition there for the club to do well. So we'll 100% go into the game, not underestimating anyone. And I say it all the time, you know, we want to win every game that we play. Um, so we're putting up the strongest side we can for Sunday. Uh, we'll give Haringey their full respect. You know, um, they're in the County Cup for a reason. They're at home. Um, so I'm pretty sure that they'll be looking to... Uh, to, to, pull off, to pull off a good win against us. So we need to make sure that we're at it. Um, we trained well yesterday. We spoke about, you know, doing the things that we're good at and, um, and worked on a few things that they might bring to us. So I think we're prepared. Um, the girls are certainly, there's a good mood in the camp. So, um, yeah, we're going to Sunday positive And I think uh, if we apply ourselves properly, we should be able to put on a good performance. It's a competition where we're in a higher division than quite a lot of teams or we're in the same division but so far higher in the table. So is this a competition where you think we can really, really go far and maybe all the way? Yeah, yeah, certainly. And I think, um, you know, I think it's a, it's a competition where you get to play a few different sides, which is always, uh, which is always an added bonus. I think sometimes you get caught up in playing similar teams in competitions in leagues. And um, Haringey is a side we haven't played in, in a while. Uh, they used to be in the same league. So 
Uh, yeah, it's a competition that we'll, we'll give full respect to. Um, as I say, in, in our squad selection, team selection will always be the strongest possible that we can put out. Um, they say, and I think it's, there's some teams in our league that are in it as well. So I think it's just a case of getting through the uh, early rounds and hoping that you get a, a nice draw that can get you through, to be honest. And lastly, uh, what's the team news for the weekend? Uh, team news, so uh, we've got Murphy. Murphy's out, obviously. Um, she was struggling last weekend anyway. And then uh, the additional of the uh, dislocated finger, I think she's falling apart. So uh, I think she'll get a much needed uh, weekend off. Uh, look forward to getting her back in for the FA Cup next week. Uh, and then there's one or two niggles. So uh, I think we're going to give a few people the weekend off. Uh, that's not to... Uh, give any disrespect to the opposition or the competition this weekend. I think it's just, uh, I think it's the time now. We've got quite a small squad, which, uh, which we want. Um, so we're just going to give a couple of girls a weekend off. But what it has done is just given us a, an opportunity now to give some of the squad players a couple, couple of additional minutes that they need. Uh, and we're going to pull in a few girls from the, uh, from the under 17s as well. So it'd be a good experience for them to, to step up into the first team in a game. Um, away game as well so yeah I was saying we've got a good squad I think anyone who's been signed for us this season is there for a reason and I think the under 17s that are going to step up I think are not there just to tick a box they've trained with us and they've done really well so excited to see how they adapt to joining us on Sunday. Brilliant thanks Danny. No problem.